Hello, my name is Jeff Rubinoff. Today I'll be talking about the support for PHP projects on continuous build servers that was introduced in NetBeans IDE 7.2. What are continuous builds? They are a software development practice introduced in agile development, and they're useful in complex projects with multiple developers using version control. Continuous builds involve a specialized server. This server builds the software from the source code on a regular schedule and tests the software when it is built. But why would you use continuous builds with a PHP project? After all, PHP is not a compiled language. There's nothing to build. True, but a continuous build server lets your team run regular tests like PHP unit and code coverage, which also use Xdebug. This lets your team find bugs early and easily. And the test failures are associated with a specific timestamp build, and you can see which changes to the code resulted in the failure. There are some requirements for using PHP projects and continuous build servers with uh, NetBeans IDE. First, of course, you need access to a continuous build server, such as Hudson or Jenkins, and the server has to be configured with the appropriate plugins to support the PHP language and the test suites. Locally, you need an installation of the PHP project wizard. Uh, you can get that through Pair, and you'll see how in a minute. You also need a local installation of PHP unit and skeleton generator, and these should be integrated with NetBeans. Uh, we have a web tutorial showing how to do that. And lastly, you need a local installation of the client version of your version control software. First, you have to set up the Hudson PHP options. Go to Tools Options, select the whoop, uh, select the PHP language, and open the Hudson tab. Here there's a field for the PPW script. If you haven't installed PPW yet, click the Learn More link. This opens a browser window on the PPW Project's GitHub page. You can look around there a bit. Uh, if you scroll down, it gives you a set of installation instructions these instructions are for installing using Pear. Off screen, I've used Pear to install the PPW script, so I just click Search, and NetBeans finds me the PPW scripts. I select the Windows script and click OK. Now I have to find the job configuration file that's called config XML. NetBeans includes a Hudson config XML file by default. So I can select to use that file by clicking Default. And now I click OK, and I'm done. Now it's time to register a continuous build server in the IDE. In the Services window, I go to the Hudson Builders node, right-click it, select Add Hudson Instance, and that opens the Add Hudson Instance dialog. This is a Hudson or Jenkins instance, actually. I give it an arbitrary name, and I paste in the URL of our test server. I have to add a slash, and I click Add. As you see, the server appears almost immediately under Hudson Builders. I expand the node, and I can see a list of jobs. And when I expand a job, I can see individual builds for that job. Here in build number four, I right-click it, and I see I have the option to show the changes to that build since the previous build. I can open the run of the build in the IDE's console, or I can open the uh, jobs page, uh, admin, blech, administration page in a web browser. I'm going to open the console in the IDE, and there you see the build. Here's a PHP project called test. I'm going to create a build job for it, but first I need to create unit tests. The calculator PHP file already has some assertions uh, in the comments inside it. So I'm going to right click the calculator PHP node and select tools, create PHP unit tests. As you see, there's a test class created under the test files folder. 
And since there's version control, I have to commit this file. Call it new test. To create the job, I go to team, create build job, and this opens the new continuous build dialog. I give the build a new name, call it screencast test. Uh, I already have some huts and jobs for this project. And I create, click create. And now, you see under Hudson Builders, I have the screencast test build. And the browser automatically opens on the screencast test project page. I'm going to remove that. Back in the projects window, I have to commit the new build files, build XML and PHP unit XML, and the changes to the project properties. So I'd write a commit message and commit that. As you saw in that last clip, the NetBeans IDE creates two files for the build job, build XML and phpunit.xml.dist. You should commit these files to your version control repository after the IDE creates them. In the unlikely chance that you want to create another uh, build job for the same project, you will need to delete these files first. And now to start the job and run the tests. I right click screencast test and select start job. And it tells me it's in the queue. Do I believe that? I right click the server node and select synchronize and now it, now it tells me it's running. Uh, maybe it's done now. I right click and select synchronize again. Yeah, you see it's done. And I have build number six. The red icon means it failed, so I'm going to open the console. And yep, sure enough, it says there was a failure. Build status failed. Uh, one test report was found. I can't get too much else out of this console. So I'm going to open the browser window. And here it gives me the list of test results. I click on that and I see that sure enough, uh, uh, 2 plus 2 does not equal 5. So now I've gotten rid of that 2 plus 2 equals 5 assertion. And I'm going to run the tests again. And we'll see what a successful test looks like. So I start job again, and it tells me it's running, and it's running, we'll synchronize, well it's still running, uh, synchronize again, still running, okay, we'll just, uh, we'll just have a look at job number seven in the console, well it really is running, it's still going. There we go. Finished now. And it was a success. And you have that nice blue icon to let you know. Thank you for watching this screencast. For more information, please see the NetBeans IDE PHP Learning Trail at netbeans.org slash kb slash trails slash php.html. The NetBeans PHP Team Blog at blogs.oracle.com slash netbeansphp and the NetBeans IDE PHP forum at forums.netbeans.org slash phpusers.html